everybody, welcome back. Shane here from Guitar at Work. Thank you for coming back. Uh, this is Black Horse and the Cherry Tree, Katie Tunstall. Fantastic song. Uh, thank you for subscribing, by the way, and thank you for your comments, suggestions, and uh, questions uh, via email and or via YouTube comments. Thank you for that very much. Uh, so this song, um, often referred to as a Bo Diddley rhythm, you'll hear that uh, quite often. Uh, we're starting out E minor. The main riff is E minor to B7. You're going to need control of those chords for sure. There's a picture of those on your sheets. Uh, if you haven't got sheets, I'll keep reminding you, go to shanesimpson.com, just look for a button that says download guitar at worksheets and there's no charge, there's no hassle, you don't have to sign up for anything. If you go and grab those and you know what we're talking about when we're referring to these sheets, um, you see in the top right hand corner of your uh, page one there, uh, E minor, this guy here, and you're seeing uh, beats, uh, beat numbers one, two, three, and a one, two. Uh, you're also seeing directional stuff, down, up, down, a down, down, like that. So if I'm sitting on that E minor, here's your strumming pattern, E minor, down, up, down, down, down. Those are the basic accents. Okay, we're gonna get to the scrubby stuff later, but it's important you get control of just that. It would be down, up, down, down, down. Now people often count that this way. One, two, three, a one, two. I'll do that again on E minor. Three, four, going one, two, three, a one, two, okay? Doesn't matter how you count, as long as you get that rhythm going on. The second bar is a B7, again, a picture of him there for you. B7 looks like that guy right there. And now the second bar is split. The first three beats, our first three attacks, however you wanna look at it, are gonna be on the B7. He's gonna go down, up, down, and then E minor for the final two downs. Down, down. Let me do that second bar again here. Here's B7, down, up, down, now E minor for two. All right, uh, so let's do the entire pattern very, very slowly. I'm gonna count you in, in between bars just to get your, uh, to give you a little time to think in there. So we're setting back to E minor here. Three, four, it's going down, up, down, down, down. Now second bar is a B7, three, four, down, up, down, back to E minor, down, down. That's the whole thing. Let me do that again. Here's the top, three, four, E minor, down, up, down, 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 B7, three, four, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. Great. Now, if you're having any trouble going from E minor to B7 or B7 back to E minor, hey, just stop tape and work that out. Just sit there, mindless repetition, go back and forth. E minor to B7, E minor to B7. A uh, song is quite uh, quite quick, so you'd want to get control of those chords for sure. I'm um, assuming you do have control of those now. I'm going to go E minor. I'll just go, I'll couch in on the full repeat, so I'll do the pattern, but not couch in in the middle. So here it is from the top, three, four, going down, up, down, a down, down, B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. Good, just again, your basic accents. We're gonna get scrubby here in a minute. Here's the top again, three and a four and a down, up, down, a down, down, B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. And again, three and a four, going down, up, down, a down, down, B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. Last time, three and a four, E minor, down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. There we go. So now, it, it relies upon the right hand doing this. So if I put those accents that we just nailed, uh, if I put them in the midst of this, I'll call it a scrub here, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll do it once and I'll slow it right down here in a sec. Three, it's gonna go down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. So our accent pattern is the same, but it's all, I'll call it uh, polluted with all that chicka chicka stuff, but that's what drives it for sure. Let me do that again, and I will do it again slowly in just a sec. Hang in there. Three, four, it's going down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, down, down. So what usually works really well, I'm gonna stop my strings here. I'm gonna choke these strings just so I get that sound. So I don't have to worry about changing chords. Just choke those strings. Don't put any pressure. You just feel a muted strum like that. And if I get this guy going, just that, straight down, up, and I'll put the accents in, I'll count myself in. Uh, one, two, three, it's gonna go down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. 
down, down. So I'm trying to keep that motor going while I'm putting those accents in. Um, I highly recommend you do it this way instead of trying to plot it out and see how many downs before the up accent and all that. Try to feel it. Really get in there, try to feel it. So I'll choke those strings again. Let's do a bunch of patterns back to back and I'll count you in on the full repeat so we all stay together, okay? So here is choked strings, starting from the top. Three, a four, going down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. That was two bars in a row, right? Here comes again. Three and a four going down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. I'm just hitting harder on those accent points, right? Here it is again. Three and a four going down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Slow down even further. Ready? A little slower than that. And no, uh, no counting on the repeat. So slower and no counting. Here it comes. Three, four, and a down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Repeats. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. One more. It's going down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Great. Now you may have to stop tape right there to get that going. Uh, you might feel, at first, you might feel a little unco uncoordinated. Just, uh, ah, where does that accent come in? Um, especially upstroke accents um, are not your friend until they are your friend. You just have to get control of those. Uh, the body prefers that you accent on the downstroke, but a lot of, was really musical to accent on the upstroke, a syncopation to call them that. So we're going down, up, down, 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 and again, down, up, down, down, down. Great. So you might have to stop tape there again. Uh, I will now, I just I'll add the chorus to that, and I'm going to sit on the E minor here for a sec. Down, up. Down, down, down. Let's do that again. That's the first bar. E minor, three, four. Down, up, down, down, down. Good. And this will help you with a lot of songs, getting control. A lot of guitar playing is that with the accents being added as we're doing. Here it comes again. E minor, three, and a four. Going down, up, down, down, down. Now here's your second bar. Uh, heading to B7 for only half the bar. Here it comes. Three, four. Down, up. Down, E minor, down, down. That completes bar two. So let me do bar two again. Here's B7, three and a four and a down, up, down, E minor, down, down. There it is. Here's the whole thing with a count in on the uh, full repeat. Here's E minor, three and a four and down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, and repeat. Three and a four, E minor, down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. And here's a couple back to back, maybe three of them with no count in between. Three and a four and a down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. Repeat, E minor, up, down. Down, down, B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, E minor, down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. Here we go. So I think what I'm hearing on the record um, is that you'll hear the, the, full, the full idea here. Down, up, down, 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 B7, bound, bound. And then just percussion. So we'll choke those strings like we did earlier to practice and go, ah, ah. While she's singing, yeah, I'll do two patterns. Down, up, down. So that's fast again. Three, four, down, up, down, down, down. Another one. Down, up, down, down, down. And she's saying over that, and then I'll just I'll play the actual riff uh, without the mute. Down, up, down, 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 up, down. E minor. Down, down. Now we're out. Down, up. Back in. Down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. There you go. So what I'm saying is that uh, do two patterns while she's singing. Muted. Up, down. Now back in fully. Down, up, down, down, down. One pattern. Bam, bam. Back to muted. Down, up, down, 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 up, 
down, and here back in, and down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, like that. Uh, it's funky, it can be hard, it's going to be hard to get that going, it can be at, at speed, so take it slowly, as slow as you need to go. The only other thing we have to think about here is the chorus, where she goes into, I'll call it like straight 16th E, one, two, like that. Two beats per chord, as you see them written there, and I'm just counting it this way, one E and that. Or I like to go like, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. So we're not doing the funky thing anymore, just straight up, walk the chicken, walk, here's a D, you'll see that written twice, D, C, E minor, there's a D, C, E minor. Yeah, chorus again. Here's your E minor. Here's D twice. C, E minor, and D. And she stops on this C. And we're back to that guy. B7, E minor. Bound, bound. Uh, let me do that chorus again slowly and uh, follow along if you can. Chorus is bold on your sheet on the actual song hand or sorry song sheet itself. Here's E minor coming. Three, four, one, two, D, D again, C, E minor, D, C, E minor, E minor again, D. Twice, C, E minor, D, and stop on a C right here. Boom. And now we're back to the bow diddly kind of riff. Three and a four, going down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, again, down, up, down, 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 accent, down, up, down, E minor, down, down. Good. Now, as you might, um, if you're watching people play this, myself included, you're gonna, you might see fingers kind of lifting off, almost like piano keys being pushed down. It feels kind of right when you get the hang of that right hand uh, to do something like this. I'll try to get a close up of that. I'm gonna go E minor, ah, 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 ah. So you're pushing down the E minor every time you're doing the accent there. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, but wait till you wait till you're feeling really good about the right hand to do that. And my guess is it's probably going to happen quite naturally once this guy has got his act together for sure. I'll do that again slowly. E minor three four down up down 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 B seven down pushing up up bound back. You can see it adds a percussive quality to it. I'll go to the B seven here. Uh, 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 uh. You hear those in between E scrubs a bit uh, a bit better and not being washed out by the chord. So in time, E minor, just the main riff, three and a four and a I'm trying to mute. You see the E minor and then it's kind of folding over, preserving the shape but folding over to try to choke out those strings that are ringing. There it is again, three and a four, going back, 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 back. E minor, bam. Bam, bam. Now you are going to hear the odd variation, a little funkier than that. Uh, bam, 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 bam. You hear that. Again, those, those will come quite naturally, those little flourishes will come quite naturally once you've got that basic rhythm down. Um, so a lot about practicing is, is the stages, and if you're, if you're practicing alone, you don't have somebody one-on-one -on -one kind of guiding you through that process, uh, there are natural kind of stopping points where you say, okay, I gotta isolate this section and get at it, and you'll get that going on, and then the next thing will come. So, so it, is, it is a process, so treat it as such. Um, so thank you for coming back. That is Black Horse and the Cherry Tree, Katie Tunstall. A lot of fun to play, great party tune, and uh, I probably probably going to see a coffee cup over my head any minute now and that's asking you to subscribe or giving you opportunity to subscribe which means that you can find it when new videos have arrived. I appreciate your comments. I hope you subscribe and uh, we'll see you again soon for the next one. Take good care. Bye bye now. <laughs>